With temperatures in the mid 50s this week, it felt as if we were well on our way to an early spring, but a complex storm system had different plans for us. By early Thursday morning, three of our counties were under an ice storm warning, and by the evening, half of our area was under that ice storm warning. The National Weather Service defines an ice storm as a storm which results in accumulation of at least a quarter of an inch of ice on exposed surfaces. Freezing rain will cover surfaces with a smooth, sometimes thick coating of ice that may be difficult to see late at night or early in the morning. In addition to causing accidents and delays, ice can be damaging to trees and power lines. Excessive ice accumulation on trees and power lines can bring them down, which can cause localized and even widespread power outages. When it comes to rain and snow, a quarter to up to a half of an inch isn't a big deal. But when it comes to ice, it's a completely different story. Even a thin glaze of freezing rain can lead to slick roads and bridges. When an area receives one inch or more of ice, it is considered to be crippling and impacts could be devastating. With our most recent ice event, most areas reported a tenth to up to a half of an inch of total snow accumulation. Since these severe weather events are inevitable in our region, it's important to stay safe and aware. Make sure to have your phones charged and extra batteries for flashlights if a power outage were to happen. And it's always a good idea to stock up your car with an emergency kit and extra water just in case. For 6 News, I'm Maddie Baggett.